First row, don't try to pronounce my last name, it's going to be a pain. And now I'm going to talk about reactive programming, or for people that are big fans of alternate kind of subtitles, you know. <laughs> 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 it's not reactive. Um, okay, what it does by definition is uh, projects each element of an observable sequence into a new sequence of observable sequences by incorporating <laughs> the elements <laughs> index and then transforms an observable sequence of observable sequences into an observable sequence, <laughs> producing values only for, from the most recent observable sequence. <laughs> uh, What's the problem? <laughs> well, it kind of feels like this. <laughs> So, to break it down, uh, reactive programming is programming with asynchronous data streams. Uh, streams are object pipelines, and by object I mean uh, data, events, and of course objects which you can observe and react to. Streams are observables. Observers are methods that implement actions based on the observed stream, and you can create and compose using op uh, co create and compose them using operators. Why would you want to do that? Well, you know, if everyone has any sense in modern UI, managing a single user's events flow is kind of hard. Managing uh, multiple users' events flow is even harder. Managing both is kind of a bit of a nightmare. So, like I said, in modern UI, you still need to handle both. So, well, <laughs> that, that's a little bit out of focus, but you know, everyone gets a nightmare. <laughs> How does reactive programming help with this? Well, um, it has a fundamental uh, design pattern in it, and it's the observer pattern. Uh, the most popular library is uh, Rx, and it has multiple language implementations, so, you know, it has all the major ones and also some exotic ones like Go, Rust, and others. Uh, reactive programming can be useful both in the UI and both uh, on the server side as a logical evolution from uh, event-driven systems. Um, and also most libraries provide great tools for composing, aggregating, and you know, just triggering change based on the observation of data streams. When would you want to use it? Well, like I said, when you have a rich UI with complex uh, events that maybe are bound to multiple elements in the UI, uh, on the server side, when you have uh, multiple uh, dependencies on third-party services and want to uh, react to events on those <coughs> services. Um, and as a rule of thumb, whenever uh, you have a complex event-based system, so both UI and backend. And ex a few examples of, you know, kind of real-world applications would be if you have a grid-like system, you know, if you wanted to re-implement re an Excel, maybe, uh, an interactive shared dashboard, a web text editor, a uh, highly concurrent message queue, both are highly viable way, uh, places you can apply reactive programming and see the benefits. And now a couple of code slides, and I used Rx and JavaScript since this is the WJS. So 
here you can see the most simple example of uh, reactive programming and it's reactive hello world you have uh, basically a stream of uh, strings and uh, on every uh, message it gets uh, you have a subscriber and it will log that message to the console it's very contrived but it kind of gives an idea of what Rx does. Uh, this is a little bit out of focus, I know. Can I? Screen? Mine. Yeah. Can you see it now? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so, and this is another contrived example as well, but it still kind of gives an idea of what uh, reactive event handling looks like. So up top you have the jQuery example. You know, I'm guessing most of you are familiar with jQuery, so kind of makes sense, right? Okay. And down at the bottom you have uh, same code, exact same functionality, but doing it from uh, a React in a, doing it in a reactive way. So basically you have the selector as well. You have the um, stream and then you have the subscriber that prints out to the console so the biggest trick in <laughs> reactive programming is everything is a stream so the way to train yourself to think reactively is picture everything in your application as a stream be it events objects or anything and that's the reactive mantra so to speak and yeah this is my Twitter handler, and the slides are available at that GitHub uh, address. So, yeah.